Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is how many unique gametes could be produced through the independent assortment by individual with the genotype as follows. And here's the answers to choose from. So basically we uh, have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 genes. In diploid organism each gene would be represented by two alleles. Sometimes this can be two different alleles or sometimes it can be the same type of alleles. So let's consider what different variants possible for the gene A in the gamete. So for the gene A in the gametes we can see two variants whether it can be dominant allele or recessive allele. As for the gene B we also may have two variants whether it's going to be dominant allele or recessive allele B. Dominant allele B or recessive allele B. So if uh, organism would consist of just two uh, genes, we would have four variants of the gametes. And gametes have to be haploid, so one would be represented for each uh, allelic pair by only one variant of the allele. So as for the gene C, as you see, there is no variation to dominant alleles, so we still would have the same four variants. And for the gene D, once again, it can be dominant or recessive, so we would have dominant allele D or recessive, dominant or recessive, dominant or recessive, and dominant or recessive. And as for the gene E, it only can be of one kind. So we just put dominant allele E everywhere. So now you see when uh, some organism would be homozygous for any gene, it can be homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive, such um, genes wouldn't affect uh, number of different combinations only can be created when we have two different alleles. So basically, as you see, now we can count how many uh, different variants we have of the uh, uh, gametes. So this is going to be first variant, and here is the sequence, and here is the second variant, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and Eights. As you see, this is answer B. Next time you don't have to use this fork line method, I just use it in order to uh, visually show you all the possible genotypes uh, as a result of the uh, gametes formation. Uh, gametes would be haploid once again, so only one letter in each genotype of the gamete we would see. But next time, if you would see such a problem, just count how many genes are represented by two different alleles. We have one, two, and three such genes. So two multiplied by two would give us four variants, and multiplied by two would give us eight variants. And we can ignore completely those genes that are homozygous, whether homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.